guys, it's Christmas Eve Eve and I'm here with a Santa hat. Finally, I've been trying to get hold of a Santa hat since I made my first video of December and uh, finally my mum remembered that my sister had one. So I borrowed this off of her. It's awesome. I think I'm going to wear it for the rest of the evening. Yay! Anyway, it's Christmas Eve Eve, so get your Santa hats on because I'm going to be talking about my childhood Christmas favourites. So the first book that I've got to talk about is a Changing Picture and Lift the Flat book. It's The Night Before Christmas, which as you all know by now, we at Bookish Brits adore. And um, it's got some really beautiful illustrations and um, the pictures have these little levers on. Whee! Isn't that great? Um, it's published by Orchard Books, but it must have come out a really long time ago. Let me see if it's got a copyright page. Yes, it was first published in 1988 and reprinted in 1992, which makes a lot of sense because um, me and my sister would have still been quite young when we got this. and. Lots of the changing pictures are actually broken. Um, they've got little levers that you move as you see or saw and the parts snap really easily because it's all just made out of cardboard. Um, it's still a really beautiful book and I have managed to mend some of the pictures with judicious use of sellotape and all the flaps are still intact which is a Christmas miracle um, if you've ever given up a book with flaps to a small child. Um, but I loved this. I used to look at it so often. I think me and my sister even used to read it together. Uh, it's just so good. I'm going to find out if this is still in print and um, put a link in my blog post about this video. So next up is the first of the free craft books which I still have from my childhood. Um, I was obsessed with crafts when I was a child. I loved Art Attack. I used to watch it all the time. I had videos, I had an order at the news agent for the magazine, and I loved my Christmas activity books. This is how much I loved my Christmas activity books. I used to write in the back of them. So here, Christmas 95, Christmas 96, Christmas 97. Um, I assume I got this at some point in 95. Um, let's check the copyright page again. This is from Belief of Press and it was published in 1990. So I may have had this a couple of years before I started writing Christmases in the back of it. Um, anyway, this is really fun. It's got um, how to make your own activity scene and a couple of Christmas carols, music, like a 3D Christmas tree, advent calendars, colouring pages, how to make stationery, um, wrapping presents, there's even a board game in here which I make it out this year and try to convince my family to play. Um, so I think this is one of the earlier ones I had and yeah I, I've still kept it because I'm just so emotionally attached to these and the idea of making things at Christmas is something I really love. I started making cards this year and I love it so much. Next up is the new Christmas fun book which isn't remotely new, look at the state of it. It's got um, an advent calendar on the back because you were supposed to pull the cover off and glue them together but I can never bring myself to do it because then the book wouldn't be whole anymore and what would be the point in that? Um, this is a lion book. Reprinted 93, so again, it's quite old, but um, I love it. This one's a bit different. This is more um, got colouring activities and mazes and things to do. It also comes with some stickers in the middle, most of which are actually still there. Um, and I think it's aimed for a bit younger um, audience. Um, because it is mostly colouring in, spot the difference, draw a picture kind of stuff. Um, but there's a few like craft activities uh, in there. Anyway, yeah, this is another one from my collection. I haven't written the dates in that, but um, it was really good. Finally, Christmas, the complete kit. 
I think this is from Lion Publishing. Yes. But this one is copyright in 97. So this is the newest of all the books. And um, I thought this was fab. I just love the shiny cover with the gold on. I got so excited when I got this book. Um, um, it's a bit thinner than the other ones, but that's because it had a um, Christmas folder that you could pull out from the middle and make your own little Christmas folder and there's a little booklet that you could fill with, in with um, information about yourself and it had the Christmas story in it. I think this one is aimed at slightly older children um, because it's got slightly more complicated game ideas. It's got games to play with Christmas cards. Um, craft ideas including like macrame, making bookmarks with knots and um, there's even some instructions for how to cook a snack. I love this one because it's really glossy and brightly coloured even on the inside it's like a proper magazine. I think it also came with some stickers but I've used them all up and um, there's just loads of ideas crammed into it. Um, so yeah, I really loved getting excited about Christmas when I was a kid. I used to keep all these books together and then just bring them out when December started, which I've done a bit late this year, I haven't got them out um, before now, but I also got out my Christmas issues of Art Attack magazine, which I've also kept hold of, and um, I'm going to do some card making now. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the books that I used to um, read to get me excited about Christmas, and I'd love to hear what books you used to like to read at Christmas when you were a kid. Leave me a comment or make a response video. I don't mind. Just, you know. But your Santa hats on. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Can't wait to eat the dinner. I love this hat. I love this hat. I love this hat.